Hey guys, I had some coasters that I wanted to resin and I had tried my very first uh, Petri uh, coaster with resin in different colors and everything and it really intrigued me so while I was doing these guitar coasters I figured that um, I would try to do the petri dish ones with you guys and video it and see how exactly it uh, turns out but I wanted to get these done really quick I am using FX epoxy countertop epoxy resin and I really do like it a lot um, creates a very nice glassy finish and it cures hard as a rock. I haven't seen that it scratches easily anywhere but I just wanted to uh, play around with some resin today. After I get these done I will come back to you with the with the petri and see what we can create out of those. Very intrigued by it. The first one that I did um, was pretty cool. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, hopefully you can see that. Hopefully the light's not in it. But it turned out so pretty that I just wanted to try it again. This one's got my fingerprints all over it. Sorry, but um, anyways, kind of cool looking. So I wanted to try it again and uh, attempt to do a few different things, but uh, we'll be right back. So I have all of the resin on these and they're looking really good. Uh, I wanted to show you, um, I decided that I wanted to try the embossing powders, so I drew these little notes on with the embossing pen, sprinkled a little powder on there, and then heated it up, and I think it looks pretty cool. I have a few on this one here, too. Uh, kind of cool, I think. Anyways, there's that. Um, I purchased um, this embossing uh, heat gun, which is so much easier to use than the big one that I had purchased uh, sometime last year. But I really like that. And the embossing powder came with it. And it looks like this here. So it's just a different tool to use along with um, whatever you're arting with. It's kind of cool. You can use it on making your cards or or anything. But Okay, I'm getting ready to cover this up, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have my guitar coasters all covered up, and I'm just going to sit down here and play. My workspace got a little small here, didn't it? It'll be all good. I'm just going to sit down here and pour a little bit of resin and add some colors and um, see what we come up with. It's kind of exciting, actually. I don't know how many I will get poured in here, but we shall see. Maybe I will be doing three. Or four. I'm going to try to get four anyways. But the silicone uh, kind of grabs hold of stuff. So I had to clean it really good with alcohol. And I don't know if I'm going to get them all the same depth. Because I don't have great depth perception. But we'll see what we can do. Kind of interesting. All right, let's see if we can get these ones filled up too. Might be able to get 
two of them done. Just thought it was kind of cool to, to play with them. I think I'm going to have enough for this one too. For all the coasters and this, I mixed up 18 ounces of the resin. So we'll see how they come out. Go ahead and pour it all in. And I really want to add things um, to it. I'm going to set this out of the way for right now. Get my hands dried off here. But I'm just going to add some inks. I'm going to pop some of the bubbles first. The FX epoxy, um, the bubbles come to the top really quickly. So, kind of cool. Alright. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to just um, mix. I really like the, the blues and the blacks in the first one that I did. So I really would like to do that again. I'm just going to put a couple drops because I want to add, I got one more in there than one. Okay. I would like to add a little bit of something in there so we'll see. Um, exactly how we fare out. So I have the, the blue and the black. And we have to put uh, white in it too. I'm using... Blanca Blanca White from Jacquard. Just going to see what they turn out like. I have no idea what I'm doing, so this is uh, like my second attempt at it, so we'll see what it does. They come to mix really well. I'm going to put a teeny bit of purple just in one in the center of them. I think I have a plan, but I probably don't. <laughs> so, what does one think about that? I don't know. Um, put a little bit more white inside that uh, purple there. I just watched a YouTube video. I don't know who the man was, but he used uh, pieces of, he sliced uh, like tree branches and made some pretty cool uh, resin coasters. Just use cl plain clear and, and wood. And it was pretty awesome, I thought. And I'm just gonna draw just a, a little bit here and yonder. 
because I want to drop a dragonfly in. And I don't want it to disappear into into the colors. So we'll just see what it's going to do. Mix them a little bit. Now we're going to do two with the dragonfly. So that dragonfly had an orange center, and this one has a yellow center. So we're just going to drop them down in there, cover them up. Make sure they're all the way in. And on this one, I would like to put in the watch piece. Just let it drop just to see how it turns out. I'm hoping that the blue is not going to totally cover it up, but it possibly could. So we're going to smear these a little bit. Really excited to see what the end process uh, ends up like. We'll drop that one down in there. Make sure it covers it up. That one looks very covered. You can tell. Drizzle that just a little bit. Upwards to it. And we'll see if they um, hopefully don't get covered up. Hopefully, hopefully they don't get covered up. I'm gonna put a couple different colors in this. These two here. This one is just uh, red. So. It's also artsy. The other ones were Ranger and a Pinata. I'm going to go back to the, the Ranger Blue because it's like, it's a very fascinating color to me. It's very uh, vibrant. And I just like it a lot. We'll do that. Put our white back in on top of these two. One, two, three. And on top of the white of these, I'm going to 
add the pinata metallic gold. So you'll see what that looks like. Hopefully it'll turn out kind of cool. I'm just going to do a couple of drops in each one. So we'll see what they look like. And then we'll maneuver those too. So at least I'll have like a matching set. Oh, I want to put a little bit more white in with the gold here. Just to make it sink. I've watched a lot of people do it and you know they just keep dropping inks which I don't see anything wrong with that. I just wanted to try to see what would happen if you just swirled them. So we shall see. I like the red showing up on this one here. I may put a teeny bit more red and then see how we twist it. Just a little bit. And then see how it goes. And when they're cured, I will come back and Show you what they all look like, guitars and all. Guitars and all. All in all, um, they're fun to do. Kind of crazy. No tea. All right. I'm going to be done with that before I mix them into mud. So let me get my camera down and see if I can't show you guys. So here's you an up close. Oh, man, I need to turn off my overhead light. It always shines right into them, doesn't it? So let's see if we can focus. So that one has the clockwork in it, and those have the dragonflies. These are just my swirls, so we'll see how they turn out. There's the other clock, which I don't know why I can't get it to focus on there, but anyways... There we go. There's it focused. That one has the clock in it. This one is slowly but surely being covered up. Doggone it. And the dragonfly. I'm going to run get um, a little piece of chain, I think, and put in there where the, where the hole is. So These are kind of cool. Can't wait to pull them out in eight hours. 
How crazy is that? But anyways, hope this has been as fun for you as it has been for me. I'm just going to say peace out to you.